first reading a reading from the second book of kings chapter 24 verses 8 to 17 jehokim was 18 years old when he began to reign he reigned 3 months in jerusalem his mother's name was nehushta daughter of elnathan of jerusalem he did what was evil in the sight of the lord just as his father had done at that time the servants of king nebuchadnezzar of babylon came up to jerusalem and the city was besieged king nebuchadnezzar of babylon came to the city while his servants were besieging it king jehoiakim of juda gave himself up to the king of babylon himself his mother his servants his officers and his palace officials The king of Babylon took him prisoner in the 8th year of his reign. He carried off all the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house. He cut in pieces all the vessels of gold in the temple of the Lord which King Solomon of Israel had made. All this as the Lord had foretold. He carried away all Jerusalem, all the officials, all the warriors Ten thousand captives, all the artisans and the smiths. No one remained except the poorest people of the land. He carried away Jehoiakim to Babylon, the king's mother, the king's wives, his officials, and the elite of the land. He took into captivity from Jerusalem to Babylon. The king of Babylon brought captive to Babylon all the men of valor, seven thousand. the artisans and the smiths 1000 all of them strong and fit for war the king of babylon made mataniah jehoiakim's uncle king in his place and changed his name to zedekiah the word of the lord the lord be with you a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew not everyone who says to me lord lord will enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of my father in heaven on that day many will say to me lord lord did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many deeds of power in your name then i will declare to them i never knew you go away from me you evil doers everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock the rain fell the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock and everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall now when jesus had finished saying these things the crowds were astounded at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as they are scribes friends the saving gospel of the lord my dear brothers and sisters in christ my dear children and my dear young people we are on thursday in the 12th week of the ordinary time of the liturgy the gospel according to matthew chapter 7 verses 21 to 29 in this reading we understand once again following the teachings of the previous days that jesus is looking at us not so much on the things that we do outwardly because he says not everyone who calls me lord and lord will enter god's kingdom even if you say lord i have performed miracles in your name i have healed the people i have brought your message everywhere i have cast out devils but still for all jesus would say I do not know you. Why? Why is that? Because my relationship with Christ is something internal. 
it is interiorized because it is not so much on the outward external activity that would justify my being saved by Christ. Therefore, we have to pay attention. We have to pay attention to the fact of what we do outwardly. If that does not correspond to my inner life, naturally, I am not welcomed by Christ. The readings continues once again in verses 24 to talk to us about the two builders, the one who builds on the sand and the one who builds on the rock. And this is what we are called, my dear friends, to understand. We have to build our life on Christ. Christ is the rock. Christ is the solid foundation for my life and for your life. We cannot otherwise exist or cannot survive. We will collapse. Even whatever do we, we do outwardly, whatever we perform outwardly, even the miracles we may perform, the words that we utter that attracts the people, but we must know, unless all that we do do not correspond to within myself, if all that we do does not correspond to my inner self, I cannot be welcomed by Christ. We are called to be internally, internally attached, connected with the Lord, having Him as a sole and unique foundation for our life. Let us pray. Let us pray in the silence of our heart. Let us ask the good Lord, Heavenly Father, Help us to understand the reality of what is internal and what is outward. Help us to grow in maturity of our faith within us, building ourselves on the solid foundation and the rock of Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen.